Hey, hey, welcome back to Don't Run With Scissors. I'm Kelly, your favorite Jeep driving lawyer, Momo twins, four crazy rescue dogs, a rescue cat, rescue guinea pig who likes to craft in her spare time, has graduated from the ASL program and is now trying to be certified and trained for Ironman. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. It sends me a message. It boosts my serotonin and my self-esteem, and I could use that. And if you are a returning friend, you already know what you're in for. So grab your drink, sit on back, and let's have at it. Um, it is Sunday morning, and right now, knock on wood, it's quiet. It's quiet. Um, it has been a busy week. Um. Which is normal. It's normal. Um, I have been extremely exhausted. What they have figured out is that I had a UTI that has spread up into my kidneys. So the pain is real. And I have a double ear infection. Because, you know, you can't just do one. I'm an overachiever. I can't help it. Um, yesterday... Both kids were home. I elected not to go to um, the two-day seminar. I just, I the thought of sitting in a chair with my back and my kidneys hurting so bad. Um, yeah, it just wasn't going to happen. It wasn't going to happen. So instead, the kids and I um, elected to deep clean part of the house. We're going to continue today. Um, yesterday we tackled the kitchen. I, that, that, so our treat was I went and picked up pizza. We didn't cook. Um, I scrubbed the inside and outside of the fridge. Most of those boxes are going to a friend of mine. Probably today, actually. Um, deep scrub the bathroom, the laundry room. Tackle the boys' room. The boys' room is about 90, 90% done. Mowed the lawn. Um, I mean, like, I cleaned out the inside of the microwave. I emptied out. I, like, it, it was crazy. Anything and everything that I can get out of this house is going. Um, without reservation. There's a couple things that I'm like, what do I do? Kind of thing. And for those items, I am... Going back to the person who gave them to me and go, do you want to pass these on to somebody else? Because I just don't need them. Um, so, yeah, I, I just um, I have a bag of donation stuff already to go. I have thrown out quite a bit. I have a bag of stuff that goes to my friend. Um, I have to find a box to mail the stuff to Jessica. Jessica, you're getting a box for me. I've owed you a box for a while. It will be going out in this next week. Um, so, yeah. Does it feel good? Yes. Yes, it really and truly does. Um, yeah. I, I have no other way. But by the end of last night, I was in a lot of pain. Um, so if anybody knows how to get the pain in my kidneys to kind of calm down, let me know. Because if I'm in pain like I was last night, I'm going to visit my friend at the ER. But I'm going to go. Um, but I do have some stitchy kindness. And actually, I do greatly apologize. I forgot to show it last week. It was in my, I, I, it was in a separate pile um, and I absolutely love it. So I want to thank Mary for always thinking about me and she found this in her stash and I absolutely love it and the boy will love it and there's a French horn and there's a French horn. That's a single horn. That's a double horn. Um, I, it's so pretty. Will this get started today? No. Will it get started next week? No. Do I know when I'm going to start it? Not a clue. 
what I might actually just do. Well, I would tell you I would just do William's name. But that's not going to get us a malphone. But what I could do is do a mal uh, do a, a French horn, his name, and then the other French horn, which would be really kind of cool. The boy leaves this week for his convention and his panel, so that's kind of exciting. It's the first time he's flown without me on a big boy plane versus, you know. We used to do this thing when the kids were little called Dreams of Wings. And they'd take up kids um, in like little Cessnas. And at some point they actually get to hold the extra controllers and, and pretend that they're flying the plane. And we've done that several times when they were littler. But I think that, and he didn't go with me when Bean and I flew to Minnesota. So this actually may be his first time on a plane. And he's going by himself. The mom in me is a little nervous about it. Try not to let that show to him. Try to let him just do his thing. So, yeah. Do I have any haul? I do not. I do not. And that's okay. That's okay. Um, This next week, I do need to get over to Kinko's or FedEx or whatever the heck they're calling it so that I can make a better pattern copy like working copy for um lady justice oh christmas tree and my santa pattern the other thing i need to do when i'm cleaning my bedroom in the craft area is craft room is find my pattern for monopoly i think i missed copying a page and it's throwing me off because that's the page I need. So let's have. Okay, so let's see what I've been stitching. I did put a little bit of stitching in on Bougie Cat. Oh, whip go numbers for next month for July came out. And they, for me, are the periodic table and viewers pick. I am excited actually to work on periodic table. I still have not finished my square from June and that is the monopoly board. And that is another reason why we need to um, find the original pattern so I can work on it. Okay. So first up is the white cat from Bent Creek. We have affectionately called him bougie cat because when I, I, I started this at StitchCon, actually, I bought the pattern and stuff at StitchCon. I started it when I got home. Bougie Cat is called Bougie Cat because Bougie Cat, I kid it up. I did a conversion because I, because the floss that was available at StitchCon, I was all excited. I was like, oh yeah, let me just pull Forbidden Fiber Co. And um, if you go to StitchCon at the Annex, they usually carry at least one or two different floss lines. I thought they carried more floss in the past in the annex, but it, whatever they carry in the annex is always going to be hand dyed and silks. They're never going to put DMC that I'm aware of in the annex. That's fine. I get that. So Ben Creek charted this either in DMC or gentle arts. I actually love to stitch with gentle art threads. Um, I have no problem with that, but they didn't carry that in the annex and I wanted to kid. I was all excited. Bean loved it. I wanted to kid it up right away. So in the annex this year, they carried Forbidden Fiber Co. And they carried Almond M&M Silks. Now, if you have never stitched with Almond M&M Silks from your mirror, you are 110% missing out on luxury. Um, so I kitted it up. And I bought the Bent Creek pattern and I bought the, the sheep pattern that I bought from Bent Creek. And I get to the, the register 
I mean, my I love my color palette. Not gonna lie, I do love my color palette. And Barb's son told me it was sixty five dollars. That did not include the fabric for either kit. And I about went and had a small heart attack because I was not expecting that because Bougie Cat is only seven seven colors. <laughs> okay, so. That is why Bougie Cat is called Bougie Cat. Now, so we have started the Bougie Cat sale. I know a few of you have picked up Bougie Cat. Um, and I cannot wait to see what colors you are picking. This is, act he's actually a great um, stash buster. Just pull from stash if you had it. I, of course, did not have it. He's only 55 by 58, which is not terribly big. I mean, that's actually a really kind of a small, isn't it? Somebody tell me. I don't have any concept of what a small is anymore. Um, so I did work on Bougie Cat. I am doing him on really small linen. I have no idea. What, oh, wait. Hang on. I do. I'm doing him on 36 count Zweigart Edinburgh Ghostly Shadows from x Designs. So we did add a little bit more. The colors are so much brighter in person. It's kind of sad. Um, we'll keep plugging. I, I realize that I've already miscounted. I'm not ripping it out. We're just going to, he's going to sit one away from, one more extra square away from the first flower. In here. Oh. Oh, no, it's over here. So. Um, that's fine. And I do need to pick up the four little buttons. I, I may have little button, little tiny buttons like that in my stash somewhere. Somewhere. Um, so that's Bougie Cat. So if you are stitching Bougie Cat, we are literally using the, ha I'm so not creative with the hashtags. We are using the hashtag Bougie Cat Sal. Bougie cat's out. Love him. He makes me happy. So two of you, so the second whip code call was for a square that I have as a viewer's pick. Two of you have already voted um, for, for me to work on Bougie Cat. Okay. I did work on, I almost said Alice in Wonderland. It is not. This is the wizard. The Wizard of Oz. I'm now working on the Tin Man. He's all in light effects. And I went to a couple of different stores. For the, I tried it in the DMA and the Krynik that I had. It wasn't working. Um, the one store, I, I went to a couple different stores here they didn't have the light effects for the one so i did a substitution to this stuff i don't know the tin man is going to be the death of me so what i may do to keep this moving along a little bit faster is do like a thread of metallics and then come over here and start although starting from the bottom up you start with dorothy's shoes Doors. I was going to do them so that they matched. So I actually, they're not going to be silver. They're going to be red. But they should be red sparkle. But whatever. they're not red sparkle on the main page. So we'll see. I don't know. But I'm thinking, like, I'll work on Dorothy a little bit. Work on the Timmy. Work on Dorothy. Work on the Timmy. You kind of go back and forth. Okay. Next up. Is the cell I'm doing with Stephanie. I know a couple other people are using the same hashtag. Again, so creative. It's called the 4th of July Rules Sal. By Primrose Cottage. I fell in love with this. Um, and Stephanie was like, yes, let's sell it together. We started it um, at, ha at hashtag. Words are hard, apparently, this morning. I don't know what's going on. 
Um, we started it at StitchCon. Come to find out, I believe we st actually started it on Flag Day. How appropriate would that be? Um, I absolutely love it. I've gone to, I got to, um, my mother's having her second knee replacement. And she asked me if I would go to the meeting with her. Um, I did. And I worked on it. And then I worked on it a little bit um, while home. So I got in the three triangles here. And the bunting on the bottom of this section is almost done. So this is the, the topper, the first page. And then we'll move into, um, I suspect this week, we'll move into the section that says, Fly Old Glory with the White House. Um, I love this fabric. I have no idea what this fabric is. It, I don't have a label on it. I know I bought it at Stitches and Frames down in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, I, I was there, but I have I have no idea what color what the color technically is or what the um. I have no idea. Is it Zwagart that has the orange line on their salvage? I don't know. I don't know. Um, so hopefully this next week we'll get, we'll finish this bunting. I may just go ahead and knock it out today. This morning before we start in on um, more of the house. Um, so hopefully I'll get to st finish that and then start fly old glory. Stephanie started hers kind of in the middle and she started hers with what will go under fly old glory, which is remember and honor the fallen. Um, so yeah, so she started hers here and I don't know if she'll work up and bend down or I, I don't know how she's working hers but she started here so hopefully um in July I can knock out um fly old glory we'll see it's an enjoyable stitch so it is one that I do like to to work on um, because it's not a bunch of thread changes. It's not a bunch of, you know, it's just, it's an enjoyable stitch. And I, I don't know how else to describe it. It doesn't require me to have 97,000 different colors. It, it's just, and I keep it in my bag that I got gifted from Stephanie at my first stitch con. So I always seem to have a, a Stephanie project in here. And I love that. It's from So Much to Love. I love the jumbo rack rack. I love the beach. This bag is just it's glorious. Oh, the natives are getting restless. Okay. Next up. I don't know. Okay. My next up is my traditional Quaker FT. I am stitching this in Threadworks Thread in whatever color it is. I don't know. It's Bradley's balloons. And it actually, if you just search Threadworks Bradley's balloons, it will come up that it's the rainbow threads. I'm stitching this two over one and I am doing it X by X. Sometimes I get a little crazy. I know. And I stitched two X's in a row before coming back. That's very different for me. I usually am one of the, I, I stitch with the sewing method. And I usually will run a thread all the way across as far as I can and then come back. Is that the, I think that's the typewriter method. I think that's what I grew up calling it or hearing it called. Um, this is as wide as it will be. So my hope is to get the, um, I'm almost, I have to do, okay, so it mirrors this side. So I need to get this little row in and then the star can go in and I'm hoping to get that done this week as well. Um, but that's as wide as it is. This will end up being a gift for Emily. And I love it. And it has Morse code in it. And it's great. Um, I did work on this during the debates. I did not watch the debates, but during the time that that was going, I worked on this. 
And again, this is just one of those stitches that makes me giggle. And it's so bright. These colors do not show. It's not doing it justice. They're so pretty. Um, so, yeah. So my hope is to get that little section done. And maybe even move down like one of the sides so that I can figure out how far down it goes. I mean, it's it's basically a big square so um so that I can cut my fabric because yeah I was a little worried about not having enough fabric actually I pulled two big pieces of fabric out of my stash of just plain Ada and I started library of dogs on one and I started this on the other and on the other like once I cut this off, I'm going to cut um, the square to do the sampler about me and go from there. Okay. So the only other thing that I worked on this week was Kay and Dennis. And they are coming along. So I've worked more on the wall in between them. I've built more around Dennis's head and some into his jacket. And then I came back. And I've been filling in more of her um, chest area, her sternum, like this area before her shirt kicks in. The goal is still to have this Monopoly <laughs> and the Wizard of Oz done by Christmas. I still would like to get 24 done in 24. I'm getting, I'm starting to get a little nervous again because some of my projects on here, I have not been working on as diligently. Four of them, several of them are um, small ornaments, but I've only started one of them. Uh, the black work cell I'm behind on, so I just need to, I need to find my groove on that. Um, I haven't even pulled out the modern folk embroidery style. And that is the other big one besides the ones that you've seen to get done. Mermaid Santa is just backstitching. And we all know how I feel about backstitching. And then the space doll. The space doll is still on my whip go board to get called. Um, will I end up with 24 finishes in 24? Yeah, probably. Um, are they going to be the 24 that I thought it would be? I don't know. Um, let me look. Because right now we are sitting at... I haven't had a finish in a while. It's kind of sad. I have 16 finishes, it looks like, so far this year. Um, if I don't go with necessarily my my 24 that I wanted done, I have 16 done. Um, I have not had a, a finish since April. That's kind of sad. The other thing is I've started several things <laughs> that I didn't necessarily. Um, started like 16 to six things um so there's that if I, but that's okay um that's all my stitching like i said i do need to um find the monopoly pattern i have to scan a couple things for, for clients and for people we're going to work on Bean's room, my room, and finishing the boy's room today. He's got to work tonight, so that should be fun. Um, yeah. Why am I thinking I have court tomorrow? But I don't think I do. I know I have court the 4th of July week, like that, that Monday after 4th of July. I'm in like three different courts. No, but Monday is happy is Canada Day. So happy Canada Day. 
Um, no, I don't have court at all this week. I have lots of court on Monday the 8th. Um, I need to, but I do need to take care of several dozen things. So that'll be good. So with that, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go hit the shower. Then we're going to work on some, we're going to work on cleaning more of the house in the bedroom, which makes me really happy. Um, so yeah. So remember, you are smart and you are beautiful. You are cherished. You are loved. You are strong and brave. You are needed. You are wanted. You matter. So with that, I'm sending you all kinds of love. And I will talk to you later. If you need me, reach out to me. It's Princess Kelly on Instagram. Um, oh, we might have another unplanned new start. Pam from Just Keep Stitching is starting a sale. And I believe I have the pattern. It came as a kit, if I recall. So when I'm in my room cleaning today, I may look for that and start that. It's not that I need another thing to finish. I need to work on the deadly aquarium for Belle. About Bella for being so. Anyways, we're gonna go purge and clean some more so that then it makes painting so much easier. Again, love you, and we'll talk to you later. <laughs>